All right, so the idea here is to figure out how this works so that we can try to make our own. Uh, and we might be able to steal some parts. We'll see what parts we want to take. But let's start with um, the scroll wheel. This wheel here. See how that works. So originally I looked at this and I thought, that's weird. It looks like a potentiometer. Like, are they really doing that with a potentiometer? But let's let's dig a little deeper and figure out what that what it, that really is. So first, I'm gonna go ahead and get some wires so we can power it up and solder on these wires. So for that, I noticed this is where the battery plugs in. And it's just a single cell double A battery. And they have these little test points on the side. So we can actually power it up using those points. So let's go ahead and get some wires on there. So I got power hooked up now. I'm gonna want one more ground wire so that I can probe. We can just put it right by the ground wire, but actually I think it would be better to have it near this part and I know these two big ones are probably ground so let's just double check that it is ground and then we can hook it up. So I'm going to use my multimeter here, set it to okay and then we'll just probe and make sure that wherever we solder is ground. So I'll go for that one and it is and that one yep that is two that one is as well. That one is not. That one is not. So, so we'll go with that one for now. There you go. So let's power this up. Make sure it powers up. I got a power supply off camera here. Go ahead and hook up the positive the negative and then we can turn on the power supply set it to 1.5 volts like a battery and go ahead and turn that on which i and there you go so I, i'm able to power it up now so we can start probing and figure out how everything works so when we make our own we can create the same layout and try to use the same kind of parts or even the same part there's an on and off button on the back, which we can turn off. And okay, so let's start setting up for probing the actual part and see what they do. Okay, so I got some hookup wire. I'm gonna solder some to two of these points because I can see traces going off of them. Actually, there are three points, so maybe we'll need all three, but you can actually see some of the traces right here going to those pins. So I'm going to try to figure out what those two do first. If you like these kinds of videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you know when I release my next video. That's what it looks like now. So let's go ahead and hook it up to the scope and see what it does when I spin the wheel. All right, so I have my oscilloscope here and we're going to be using two channels, channel one and channel two. I have both of them set up to one volt per division and I have my time base set to 10 milliseconds and I have those two channels connected to my my board with the two green wires that we did and you can see when I spin the wheel we get some activity which is really cool but let's try to figure out what that activity means and in order, in order to do that, what we'll do is we'll uh, slow this down a little bit. So let's try 50 milliseconds. And instead of auto, we'll switch to a single sweep. And let's give that a shot. So I'm gonna just go in one direction here, forward. And there you go, I was able to capture what was happening. And when I go forward, you can see the blue precedes the, the yellow. So let's try going backwards now. So I'm gonna go backwards. And here you can see the yellow is actually first. So basically what this is, is it's an encoder. Go back to the auto mode here. 
front. So you go forward or you go backwards. That's how the microcontroller knows which direction to go or which direction you're spinning the wheel. So basically it's an encoder. So it's not a potentiometer. Another thing to note, let me go switch back to the single. Another interesting thing is that this is one volt per, div per division and the maximum is so, if you look here, it's two divisions, so that's two volts. So I'm actually getting two volts. And if you remember, this is powered by a single uh, AA battery. So how is it that this board is producing two volts? In the next video, we're gonna look at how the power supply works.